had this punch pulled out so it would sit on my card like that because it kept like winging open i'm like why i don't we're not using that butterfly punch on anything. <laughs> so I got, I got really confused when I saw it sitting up here. I'm like, why do I have that here? But that's why, because it kept doing that and I wanted it to fold down, which, you know, once you put it in an envelope or something, it would. So, okay, that is card number one. And, all right, scooting stuff out of the way here. Let's show you the second card. Okay, we good? Actually, I'm gonna get the ribbon here too. Okay, so, and this is another fun fold featuring our ornate thanks stamp set and the what is that um, paper called i have the list here that's called the ornate garden specialty designer series paper i'll show you the back side of that hey sabina i'm glad you can join us hello hello okay so here this is another i saw this one online also i can't remember because honestly i think i took like screenshots of the cards and then um, they weren't watermarked, which is kind of unusual, but I loved, <laughs> I loved that fold too, right? So something a little bit different. And so this one says, thanks, you made my day, exclamation point. And then we use some of the gold foil to kind of accent the gold foil in our designer series paper also with the awesome, I don't, I don't think I mentioned that before. Those are the stitched so sweetly dies. I could use those on every single card. And actually these are some of the new, um, I'll show you. They're in this package, the Ornate Border Dies. So you get a bunch of borders. This is that one that I showed you on, where is that card? This one. Yeah, you can tell, right? Because it's still got a bunch of pieces stuck in there. Yeah, so, right, that comes out of that one right there. I haven't used some of the other ones yet, so I need to get on that, right? But then these are the three flowers. So we're gonna use a couple of those little flowers on our gold foil right there too. So again, these are the ornate border dies, and these may be the ones that are on back order. So you should, I believe, be able to order the Ornate Thanks stamp set and these dies, and then you'll just get these when they come in. And hopefully that won't be too long. I'm sure they're on top of that because this is brand new stuff. So they don't want to make us wait too long. Although it's the shipping too and like the whole coronavirus thing. So, you know, we just have to take a deep breath and it is what it is, right? Okay. Um, let me give you dimensions. Let's do that. Okay. Because this is another kind of a fun card. Yeah, because actually the card base is just, it's like um, a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. So this, I used thick whisper white right here. So imagine we had a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, I cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. So that's all your card base is, four and a quarter by five and a half thick whisper white, okay? Then we have our piece of, this is the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper, you can see. So this one has big and little flowers. The other one is all just little flowers. So they're both super pretty. And then here's the back side. Isn't that cute? Very quaint, right? Kind of a little country maybe, the paper. Okay, so four by five and a quarter inches and then that piece is gonna go right on there, right? Then we have I used uh, just regular Whisper White, but maybe you could have used, or I could have used uh, thick Whisper White. Either one I think will work. Two and a half by 11, and then we scored it. I'm sorry, that's not right. Two and a half by 10 and a half, and then I scored it in t at 10 and a half, well, in half, whew, at five and a quarter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, all right, okay. Oh, maybe Sharon, I'm not sure the Mary, what that's about. And I missed another Anna. Um, let's see. You got a big order place before. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm going to try to see more that are now. Oh, good. So you got things that were retiring. And so you got them in time. That's awesome, Anna. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah, because you got to get your, yeah, that's a perfect example. Get your orders in so you don't have to worry about um, things selling out on the retiring list. Okay, so we're good, right? Two and a half by ten and a half scored at five and a quarter. That's what I was trying to say on that one. Then we have another piece of designer series paper that's going to go right on there that goes right up to the edges. So this one is two and three eighths by five and one eighth. So you barely see the white around there. Vina, hello. So glad you can join us. So you can see how that one's going to go right there like that, right? 
<laughs> let's see, do I want to, you know what, while these are here, let's just kind of put them together. And then we're gonna do some stamping and die cutting. It's funny, I don't normally do it like this, but woo, I'm getting crazy today, ladies, and changing things up. Cause I want you to see, I really need my readers. <laughs> trying to make sure I have like the same amount of white, but I think that looks pretty good. It's very little, very little white around the edges there. And then this one, flip this one over and we'll put this on our card base. Okay, this one shows a little bit more. A quarter of an inch versus an eighth of an inch is what you're looking at around that edge. Quarter of an inch around that edge, eighth of an inch around that edge. And then this, oops, oh, I kind of flopped that around. That's gonna go right on there like that. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to use a good amount of adhesive on this one, because this is kind of our fold after all. And that we are gonna put, trying to see where do I have it? Maybe right about there, okay. And again, I wanna press very, very firmly Get that down in there. Okay, so now let's do our stamping and die cutting for our thanks. You made my day. All right, so we're gonna stamp. We need our early espresso ink again. Oh, this is what I needed to do. I knew, okay, so, sorry. I'm not explaining myself very well. We're gonna clean off the thanks from the thanks, you're amazing stamp that we just did, okay. And I need to use this thanks over on another, on this one right here, the thanks, you made my day. Okay, so now I have to figure out, there, there's the you made my day. So this is what I was talking about, like you might put that on there and it doesn't look like it works very well together. So we're gonna ink this up. Where's my scrap paper? Here it is. I wanna make sure that I got that on there well. If not, we will clean it off and try it again, and I'm actually gonna grab this too. Cause you know I had that problem last time, right? So we're gonna make sure. So now we have a, thanks, you made my day. All right, I think that looks good. So actually let's keep this. We're gonna stamp this one, thanks, you made my day. And then we'll do our die cutting. Okay, beautiful. Love this stamp set. I love all the different sentiments that you can build from it, I think is, what is most fun about it. All right, scooting stuff out of the way. And let's see here, we're gonna do some more die cutting. So we've got our Whisper White. This was just a scrap piece of Whisper White. And so yeah, these were the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I used the two bigger ones. Now we're gonna use, um, what do I wanna say about these? Well, it's like the third and fourth smallest or the third and fourth lar largest. It's the two middle sizes. Not the two smallest, not the two biggest, the two middle sizes. So we're gonna put that one on our sentiment and then this is just an extra one we're gonna layer behind there. So I wanna make sure this fits on here and it's a pretty tight fit. Um, but even though it looks like it's cutting things off, it actually just all fits beyond the stitching and the scallop edges. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> the fun fold. I know, Anna. Well, you know, I just get kind of bored with the regular folds. I do the regular folds a lot, um, but there, so you can see how it just, the U and the little exclamation point just fit on there. Yeah. And then we're going to have another whisper white one right behind there. Okay. So what else do we need to do? Let me get the card, get the card back in view here, right? So the other thing we can do is we can punch with our medium daisy punch and our gold foil paper. We are just gonna punch a couple of these. I love these daisies. Very, very happy to see that those are not retiring. And then a little half inch circle punch. We are gonna punch just a little circle there out of early espresso cardstock. Now I think we are ready to put things together. So we are gonna, with our sentiment here, we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind this. Okay. And then we layer that one. Okay, that looks good there. Now, 
let's go ahead and put some adhesive. I'm gonna be careful to not put too much to the edges because it needs to only fit on this flap right here, okay? So I don't want it going off the edges too much. So I think that looks good there. Sorry if there's a wiggle there. Then where's my little, like my little silicone mat for these teeny weenies? Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive on there and some adhesive on our little circle. Okay, so this one we are gonna layer. I love this too, having a couple of these little gold doily, or uh, what are these? These are daisies, not doilies, but daisies. Okay, so there's that, right? Then, how did I put that on there? I did, I think I used a little mini. I used a mini glue dot because I wanna get it right on the corner there. White on white, elegant. It is, isn't it, Philomena? With that, um, the kind of little bit of gold accent there. So the trick is now to get this adhered, but still be able to read the word day. Hmm, how did I do that? <laughs> well, there. That'll kind of work, right? And then where are, I need my, what are these called? I'm trying to remember now. I've got just a few of them left. So these are the gilded gems. I need to get another package open. So they came in, this is large, this is medium, and there were a bunch of small, but we used them on the make and takes. So we are gonna use, actually, I think I used one of the large ones, didn't I? Grab a large gilded gem, and we're just gonna pop that right in the center there. And that is it, ladies and maybe gentlemen, who knows, right? <laughs> Who's watching um, at home these days? So what do you guys think? So we've got this one right there, and then we'll grab these right here too. There, if we kind of lay that on there, that holds them together. So I am loving this Ornate Thanks stamp set. And I do have to tell you, when I first saw this suite, I, it wasn't something I was drawn to immediately, but it's definitely one of those, like the more you play with it and the more you see fun projects made with it, I have completely fallen in love. Like with the gold accents, I love that um, embossing folder. I love building all the different sentiments and you can keep them simple or you can like really go crazy with them too. That's the kind of fun thing about this suite. It can go either way for you. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll do my quick recap to remind you that if you put your online order in and use the host code, the X9M4R36Q, you will get these projects that I demonstrated, either the make and takes or the completed cards. You tell me with just a $30 order, then your name is going to go in the drawing to win the new ornate floral embossing folder that we used right there, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you'll get your own package of the gold gilded gems or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial you choose whichever one you would like so i think that's all for today we are gosh next facebook live will be may it'll be may 1st that will be awesome right we're excited to be getting um closer to summer hopefully <laughs> in michigan um you know you kind of question because it did snow again this week um, but anyway, hopefully you guys are all just doing fine and hanging in there and just stay busy playing in your craft room, right? It just makes you smile, makes you happy. Send these cards out to friends and family and anyone that you're thinking about these days and brighten their day with a hand-stamped, handmade card. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate all your feedback and make sure you comment and share the video. Truly appreciate that too. So see you guys next Friday. Bye everybody.